Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as promised, this is going to be part two of the video that I did in my review on going over the Notion app. And starting off with the YouTube channel, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a background to this. And if you have not seen the video that I did previous, I'm just gonna go over briefly how to change the cover. So if you click this button here, you can change the background of the cover section here. And um, so I'm just gonna choose a solid color for today's video, and I'm just gonna go ahead and choose red. So next up is just an overview. Again, I have only been using this app for a few weeks now, and these are just placeholders and kind of templates for um, places and categories that I would probably be using and so here you can see before you upload after you upload and then some don't forget items I have also some follow-up here and then at the bottom is going to be the pages that I actually have attached to this YouTube channel folder so if you drop down this here you'll see that I have media and also tech stuff so starting with the media section that's just gonna be where I'm gonna hold my pictures, videos, and some examples of flat lays that I wanna use in the future. So again, you can go ahead and change the icon. So for the pictures folder, I'm gonna go ahead and find the camera. And for videos, I'm going to do something similar and find where they have the camcorder. I've already used the film production, so I'm just going to go ahead and use something else that looks like video watching of some sort. Okay, so for videos, I'm just going to use a monitor. And then for flat lays, I'll just use... Okay, so I'm just gonna use that rose for the flat lays. And so when you actually click on the page, it opens up and then you'll be able to add your information in here. So if you hit, and then it'll show you the basic blocks that you can put in here. So if we wanted to go, go ahead and create a number list, we can do that. We could. type in whatever we would want in that section. And then we, when we click on it, we'll be able to see that list here. So you can use this as ideas or you can go ahead and instead of an actual number, you could do something to where you can link to a page. You can mention a person's name, a page. Um, you can create dates or reminders. Um, again, I am not going to go over this as a tutorial. I'm just showing you how I would be using this in the future. So moving on from media to the text stuff folder. So under here, currently I just have an, a space for infographic templates and also instrumentals that I currently use or that I will be using. Um, I believe I've already shown the productivity folder. Um, and so under the, this blog folder here, I just have a food template where I'm going to be using recipes and um, any items that I want to discuss food, food related items. Under the parenting template, this is where I'm going to be housing a template where I would do a blog about parenting. So you can see here, there are different um, attachments that you can place here or also tags that you can use um, if you want to help your and also tags that you can use. Um, you can create notes within the templates. And then next I have an interview template. So if I'm interviewing a person and I wanna include that on my blog or a future podcast, then I will go ahead and have this here. And this, any of my words, these are just coming from the app itself and this is just came with Notion. But I will definitely be using a structure somewhat like this with a picture and some information And I wanted to keep this video short, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. But I will be making videos in the future as I continue to use this app. So please uh, make sure you come back and check out the videos in the future. And thanks so much for watching.